Hello world and welcome to Concord, North Carolina. We are at Concord Mills right now because I wanted to do an update video on this place. I have a video out on it, but the stores are gone. Some of the stores are gone. We got some new stores in. So I kind of wanted to come out here and give an updated video on what this mall is like because it's pretty popular over here. It's right outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. And it's a pretty cool mall. There's lots to do, lots to do here. So without uh, further ado, let's go have some fun. Yeah, there's been a lot of changes since my last video. Right now, it's 2024, 2024. And like I said, some stores have left. New stores have come in. Sea Life Aquarium has not left. It stayed here for a long, long time. Neither has the speed park over here. So you have your go-kart tracks and things like that over here. Little, uh, like, a trampoline thing that you can jump on. And yeah, it's still over here. A lot of kids like coming over here and doing this. There, well, there's a slide back there too. All right, here we go. Now I'm going to cover some of the stores that I think might be important or some of the stores that I like. But if I miss a few of those stores, you may want to head over to their website and check out the full store list because honestly, this place is changing like crazy. So you may be watching this video like a month later and stores have already changed. Like I said, Sea Life is still in operation over here. Ready for birthday parties and summer camps. And if you didn't know, this place is a big old aquarium inside there, like a walkthrough attraction. Kind of like the Ripley's Aquariums that you see, like in Myrtle Beach and Pigeon Forge. It's a pretty cool place. We used to have season passes here, and we would always stop in here and look at the fish. There's American Eagle, Skechers. They have a Vans and Spencers here. I really like the Vans because it's an outlet. So you may not get the newest of the new there, but they run some really good deals on shoes. And Vans are some of my favorite shoes, so... Yeah, they got to buy one, get one free right now. The other day, I got some really nice boots for free because my wife wanted a pair of shoes. So, yeah. All right, we got the dining pavilion here, which is really the food court. And you can see they're already setting up for uh, the Easter Bunny right here for pictures with, with him. That's a pretty elaborate set right there. Look at that. You got butterflies and flowers everywhere. That's really nice. Anyways, food court. Japanese food, Chinese food, Burger King, Popeye's steak fries we got pizza over here salsaritas and if you didn't notice a big huge carousel right in the middle i did want to show you the lionel store here because that's kind of weird and quirky you never see lionel stores in malls but they've got some nice trains in here and some even some nascar stuff all right concord mills is set up like a big loop and this is the middle so i guess it's kind of like an eight in a way so we're going to make one lap around go right past firehouse subs and head this way some people may want to shop at Aeropostale. There's an Oshkosh Bagosh. And Video Game World, y'all. Video Game World is super cool. It's got vintage systems in there, vintage games. So you can go in there and find, like, Super Nintendo games and Nintendo games, GameCube sitting out here, even Dreamcast. And like I mentioned before, I like Vans shoes, but New Balances, they are comfortable. They have a store here for them, too. I think the Ugg store is pretty new. I haven't seen that in a while. Or haven't ever seen that, really. Look at that big gumball machine. I feel like if you have a gumball machine like that, you should make the gumballs super huge, too. Oh, there's Build-A-Bear. That's pretty cool. Kids like that. And here's an old Navy outlet. Lids Locker Room's a pretty darn good place to get some, like, professional sports gear. They've got a lot of Charlotte Hornets stuff and everything. And now, y'all, I know what you're going to say. Charlotte Hornets, they've made a huge couple trades, and they're back at it again. They've won two in a row. Two in a row. Sky's the limit now, y'all. Oh, there's a Burlington, y'all. I'm telling you, it's a really good place to go in here and get some clothes. It's not second-hand clothes. It's actual clothes that maybe didn't sell in a department store, so they bought it to resell. You can get some really nice stuff in there. I might head in there, actually. I've actually got a few things here that were dirt cheap. I'm telling you, brand new stuff, dirt cheap. I got a horn, couple Hornets jerseys, I think, here. They were like 20 bucks a piece. Can't beat that deal. Like, this is what I'm talking about. I came over here to check out some uh, clothes for my wife, and look at this. This is a Disney Spirit jersey. These things are usually like $80 or more. 18 bucks. Orange Bird all the way. Like, look at this. This is literally sold in the Disney parks. It's a Jungle Cruise shirt here. And it is $8.99. Sold in Disney. Made its way all the way up from Florida to North Carolina. 
All right, I spent entirely too long in there, but I got a $100 jacket from Disney World for 15 bucks. You can't beat that. So you can see the trampoline thing I was talking about earlier. They even have this like gun shooting range thing with airsoft rifles. It's pretty cool. Here's the Crocs store. Some people like Five Below too. It's got some good deals in here. I think I'm gonna head in here and check it out. Lots of pretty cool shirts here for $5.95 or $5.55. And my daughter's been watching me skateboard and she's been wanting to try it out herself. So I may just grab her one of these cheap ones for five bucks just to see if she likes it before I throw some money down on it. I found some Harry Potter stuff over here too. So y'all, this isn't just like a, a cheap store. They've got some nice stuff on sale over here. Got some Harry Potter headphones and stuff. Pretty neat. All right, we're on one of the ends of the eight here. They got some like ride on animals over here right in front of this awesome toy store alex baby and toy the place is huge and look at here all baby gear 90 percent off not bad even a massage place here if you get tired of shopping just stop and get you a massage oh man and this is one of those places where like the fish eat the dead skin off your feet Gara spas we actually did that in mexico in what you call a cenote when we were on a cruise so there's a yankee candle a lot of little places to get you some snacks over here and yeah let's head on down this way these stores are pretty cool too man cave stores got a lot of sports stuff in there and everything maybe some car stuff sir per and we got another massage place to the left here and this is a heavy hitter out here we got an outdoor world bass pro shops people like going in there there's an aquarium in there too if you want to go look at some fish and I really like Best Buy here. I'm gonna head in there and see what they've got. Wow, this place is kind of modernized. Looks a little bit more newer, more fresh than what it used to. Now this is right up my alley right here, like a three-fourth scale arcade machine. These are really cool. They're called arcade one-ups. I've almost bought one before. You can find some really good sales on them. Right now they're $500, but I've seen them down to 100. Um, I've heard some issues with the quality. That's why I haven't really bought one yet, but they are so stinking cool. Who wouldn't like to have Mortal Kombat in their house? This Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory is actually really good. They make some really good chocolate here. Look at these uh, candy apples or chocolate apples, whatever you call them. They do have Dick's Sporting Goods here. This is fairly new. Uh, they just put this in here probably within the year or so. This Hanes store is pretty good too. Got a lot of champion gear in there. A lot of Hanes stuff like underwear and everything, but it's a pretty cool place. It looks like they're running a lot of sales right now. 40% off on this stuff. And Starbucks. That place was closed for the longest time during COVID. My goodness, it was closed forever, but it's open now. Bath and Body. Now this row over here has some high-end stores like Tommy Hilfiger. I don't know if Banana Republic fits in that category, but there's that. Brooks Brothers. I don't even know what that is, but it's there. Looks high end to me. Fancy polo shirts and stuff. 50% off the whole store. And we have Coach over here. I know that is definitely high end. So let's get a peek inside the store. There you have it. And over here, they've got Ralph Lauren. And there's another Ralph Lauren down there. That's weird. Oh, this is the big and tall, and down here is the non-big and tall. And there's a Michael Kors right here. This is Books A Million, but I wanted to start it out a little bit early, because in Books A Million, they have Yogurt Mountain, kind of like a uh, sweet frog. And we've made our way back to the dining pavilion. You know how I said this is shaped like an eight, and this direction down here is our last section. Zoomies is pretty cool. I don't know what this store is, but you can take a guess. Get it? Vera Bradley. The most popular store with my wife that she never buys anything in. And a GameStop. I might go in here and spend way more money than I should. I want a PlayStation Portal. I want to try it out. Never mind. You cannot return it. So if that thing's laggy, I can't bring it back. And $200 is out the door. So I'm not going to risk it. Let's head down this way. There's some cool stores up here. Got a Nike clearance store right here. People may like that. And a Lego store over here. That's pretty cool. They did away with the Disney store, by the way, y'all. All of the Disney stores. Well, I would say most of the Disney stores closed. So this one was one of them. As you can see in front of me here, we've got an Adidas store too. 
this place is really cool too, Dave & Buster's. If you've never heard of it before, it is a huge arcade with massive TVs in the back and a restaurant. So yeah, lots of, they play a lot of like sports games too. So it's a lot of fun in here. We used to come in here all the time and rack up a bunch of points and buy appetizers for our meals with the credits we won from the games. And lo and behold, they stopped selling that or they stopped doing that. Oh, look up here, Paranormal Cirque coming to Concord February 22nd to the 25th. That's pretty cool. Sun and ski sports store in there for like outdoor stuff. And this place is fairly new too. It's called the Escape Game. There used to be a pizza restaurant here, but it is left and this is here now. I've never done an escape room before. Forever 21 over here. Blowout sale, 50% off entire store. Cinnabon over here, that place is really good, but I'm on a diet. I've lost 10 pounds this last couple months. And check it out, they've got an AMC, a movie theater in here with kind of like an ice rink. It's not really ice, it's like cutting board material. I've skated on one of those before, and it's not bad. Or they have ice though. But AMC, super cool place. They've got reclining chairs to watch your movies. We've got Auntie Anne's over here, Cold Stone Creamery, and Journeys, FYE, and Buckle. Now, I know I've already mentioned FYE before in this video, but I want to go in here because FYE is like 90s mania. I love this store. Look at these shirts here. Like, they've got Japanese-style Halloween, all these horror movies, Back to the Future. Like, does it get any better than that? If I had some money to spend on this, I totally would get me like five shirts here. We got an NES controller doormat. Wow. All right, we are back outside in the parking lot. We made a full lap around Concord Mills. It's a long lap, that's for sure. So um, I wanna remind you that if you plan on coming out here and you wanna see some of the stores for when you come out here, definitely check the website because stores change here like crazy. So if you see it on this video, chances are it's probably gonna be there, but it might not. So you might wanna check the website before you come out here. And also don't forget, they have issued some sort of like a, uh, a chaperone policy when it gets late at night on some certain times so if you are a young one coming out here you definitely want to get on their website and check that chaperone policy because it is enforced my wife were my wife and i were out here the other day and they had security guards giving out like bracelets and things and there was a police person behind them so yeah definitely check out that chaperone policy if you're young but anyways hope you all enjoyed that um thanks for watching and thanks for playing Bye, world.